I wanted to be in character. Okay. Fuck. I fucking hate you girls. <laughs> really? Why? Because I can't be fake around you. It's so fucking easy to be fake around guys. Once I'm around girls, I'm like, all oh, honest. It sucks. Um, basically, um, I feel that most of my reports are tossed aside as unimportant. Um, and this is another reason I feel that I need to be on video um, so that uh, some of the viewers can see my um, expression and um, my honesty will come out in, you know, things that I say. Um, my innocence will come out in things I say. And why I wanted to do this is because it's like I just really don't want to think or not think about it. Like I just want it to be something that's not in my control. It's not something that I have to worry about whether I'm good at it or not good at it. Like I just want it to just be this thing. Like it's, it's going to be there. I've been healing from abuse and trauma and um, I grieve my victimization, I grieve the separation from my children, having had my son taken from me at hospital, my newborn child taken from me at hospital soon after he was born, um, that was devastating. Even when you compromise, someone's still getting duped. You know, compromise is like a plea bargain. I know what that ends up happening there. I don't think you should compromise. I think that compromising is the downfall of mankind. Everyone should just go for more. I don't want my children to be treated the way I've been treated. I don't want my children to be arrested, ever arrested. It is not a good thing to be arrested and to be placed in jail. It made me feel dirty. Um, I just really, you know, there's reasons that there's people that should be in jail, you know, there's, you know, there's, I'm not saying there's no reason for people to be placed in jail, but there are some people that needs to be there. I don't believe I need to be there. I needed to be in a hospital. I needed to be in a hospital. It's abuse on top of abuse. It's just additional abuse. It, it was very abusive. It's like they told me, go grieve in jail. It wasn't that I felt that they didn't believe me, because that's a different issue. I had asked for blankets and I was, I had about five blankets at one point and two double socks. It was very cold in the unit, so I was shivering. Um, you know, having your heart palpitate, chest pain, panicking, you know, your immune's not strong, you're on medication, you're shivering, that's a death threat. I was going to die. I was going to die in jail. And I have three children. I didn't choose death. I chose to live. I saved myself. It's like, it seems like there's some, it seems like the secret to whatever's being kept secret is so extraordinary that everyone would just either flip out or know something, you know? For example, like, instead of having nuclear reactors, we could have had thorium-based reactors since the 50s, but they don't want to do that, and now we have a whole bunch of radiation leaking out in Japan, and that wouldn't even happen had they used thorium. And everyone knows it, but it's just, they just, I don't know, it's stupid. Because if you have a secret, then you have something over somebody. I'm always interested in my, like, whether or not I want to tell people the truth, whether I want to make myself seem better or sometimes make myself seem worse, just kind of based on who I'm talking to and what reaction I would like them to have to me and that we have that opportunity to do that, that that's sort of part of our small talk.
culture that we can kind of navigate um, or uh, steer conversations and questions and sort of felt like um, fabricate expertise or fabricate ignorance to just sort of um, make, make someone else open up or, or feel more comfortable or less comfortable or in awe or not in awe or sort of, or to just, just deliberately make someone disregard you, like just kind of say a bunch of things that you don't really mean just to see what they'll do. Um, not right now, <laughs> like, sort of sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I do do that sometimes, like when I'm in a place where I don't know anybody. Um, I just like to see.